Man, I saw I watched uh, The Way Back and Marriage Story. I did like a divorce double feature. Love that. Dude, Marriage Story is boring. I think everybody. It looked, it looked boring as fuck. Yeah. So I watched that, and then, uh, but then I watched The Way Back, that Ben Affleck movie. I want to watch it. I should have watched it. It's so funny. I can't wait. It's really funny. The first. I watched. Go ahead. The beginning of the first 10 minutes are just like showing you what a drunk he is. Nice. That's my favorite part of those movies. Yeah, he's just like, you know, downing beers. And then for whatever reason, his old high school asked him to coach the basketball team, even though he has like some job where I get, I can't even, t- I couldn't even tell what it was. It's some kind yeah. of blue collar job. And then his old like Catholic high school is like, you were the best player of basketball ever at this school and they've never won since. Yeah. You know, we don't even have Ben a, Affleck was the best. Yeah, we don't have a coach at all. So we like Al Madrigal's like gonna he's the assistant coach and Oh, okay. You're gonna and then I guess eventually Shouts this, out to Al Madrigal, that's a nice little role. Yeah. But then there's this other guy in the movie that only exists to like tell him not to curse. Because right now you're playing like a bunch of fucking pussies. And that's the truth. <laughs> like they introduce this character and he's like, you know, I'm the chaplain. I oversee the game. That's the other thing, too, is it all takes place at this, like, Catholic high school, but there's no, like, religious element whatsoever. There's yeah. no, they, like, uh, like the, it seems to be the only reason it's a Catholic high school is so that uh, this guy can tell him not to use cuss words. We have a code of conduct at Hayes. Part of that code includes the use of appropriate language. And as Hell the yeah. team gets better, they use more cuss words. I mean, it's like... <laughs> It's fucking really dumb. But the best part—that's an awesome the, moral. Yeah, the best part about the movie is, is like, so you know, the guy's like this fucking sad sack drunk that can't get over his divorce, can't move on yep. with his life. Now Ben Affleck in real life is also a sad sack drunk. Same. Can't get over his. Although divorce. he's getting pussy from that girl from Knives Out, who's hot as hell. Yeah, I'm sure, but you know, I mean, we've all seen. He's his, he's a divorced. He's got the essence of being divorced. He is extra divorced. strength divorced. He is divorced. But, that's, but I mean, like, he is your go to divorced guy. Yeah. So, in terms of famous people. In the movie, the character is divorced because him and his ex wife, their son dies of cancer and the marriage can't last. Whereas in real life, Ben Affleck just couldn't stop cheating on Jennifer Garner. <laughs> <So, laughs> it's, like, it's just like a great <laughs> sympathetic person. That fucking rules. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Ben's playing a guy who uh, who almost died trying to save his son. Yeah, and that and his wife was too much of a bitch. Yeah, to take his feelings into account in right. the movie. Yeah, so you know the the marriage doesn't last or whatever. But then it's like also in the movie, so he still hangs out with his ex wife occasionally. Like their their relationship is like completely muddled and it's confusing. Yeah. But they, you know, like they showed them like we find out the kid had cancer because they have to go to a birthday party for this other kid. And the other kid also has cancer. And it's like, oh, I guess they're still friends with the, the other parents of children dying of cancer. Right. Do you know what remission's like? Yeah. Living life waiting on pins and needles for the other shoe to drop. But all of their kids are still alive, which, like, that defies logic for me. I would imagine that if I, my son died, and as a result yep. my marriage failed, and I could never talk about my son dying... My friends wouldn't be the people I know whose children have not yet died of cancer. <laughs> yeah, right. I wouldn't right, be going right. to a six year old with cancer's birthday party and show me mean, it's like completely fucking yeah, inconsistent. Also, that kid isn't gonna be happy to see he was friends with your kid. Yeah. Think about being a little kid. You know, they they add a scene too in that where like fucking they're at the party for the kid and the dad of that kid who's now dying is like these are Michael's parents. Remember Michael? And the kid's like, No. And then it's like this fucking like bullshit ben. where he doesn't remember his friend that died. And then Ben Affleck's like, no, it's okay. Don't worry. It's all right. Michael's dad. You remember Michael? Remember we were in the hospital. Sorry. Right. Halloween. We, I don't know. We put, we put you two in a wheelchair and then we push you all around the hospital collecting candy. Like, all right, I already forgot your boy. Yeah. I'm, why am I here? Ben Affleck's like, why did you invite me? You're a piece of shit. Son doesn't even know my dead ass son. Right, yeah. And then then that kid gets rushed to the hospital and dies. But then Ben Affleck and the ex wife are at the hospital, like looking through the window as like the father of that kid like realizes his son's dying. And then Ben Affleck's like, I gotta get out of here. It's like, why are you there in the first place? 
that would never yeah. happen. It would never happen. It's like this unless fucking... he's your best, unless that character is Ben Affleck's best friend. It's not. He's another guy he knows from like my child is dying, anonymous or whatever. But like <laughs> that's ridiculous. You can't deal. Does with he hang him. out with them in any other any other way? I, or just birthday parties and hospitals. I was in and out. I mean, it was like I was it, like incredulous at that point. So then there's other, like, it, it's, uh, you know, the ex-wife, like, you can tell he wants the ex-wife back. And he's like, there's one scene where they, like, together, he's like, you know, they keep saying he's in a better place, but the better place for him was right here with us. You know, and it's like, I mean, it's just stupid. It's just. What, you're an adult who doesn't understand how death works, man? Yeah. Like- <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry people try to console you about your dead son and they don't say the the aunt, the right thing. What, yeah. I mean, like, what are they? You, that sucks, man. Yeah, that's yeah. like you 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 actually would be tight as if he wasn't dead. Yeah, dude, honestly, he's probably in hell. I wish he was here. Yeah. I wish he wasn't fucking in hell or purgatory or Yeah. He probably jacked off and didn't didn't say didn't fucking ask for forgiveness. Yeah. So your son's in hell. Yeah. Anyway, he's here. So then he goes out to a bar and gets trashed and uh nice. very nice. And then fucking, like, tries to fuck some whore. He picks up a whore at the bar, and then driving her home, he smashes yes. into some guy's boat. And then <laughs> and then breaks into the guy's house, thinking it's the wrong house, and then gets, like, arrested and wakes up in the hospital. And then he, Hell like... Yeah. Then he's banned from the school, by the way. He's lost the job as a coach 15 minutes prior to this. And the movie just ends with him shooting, like, free throws and, like, the team's, like, winning or something. We ask this in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Hey, fellas, let's win this fucking game for Coach Cunningham. Baby. Yeah! Wait, the movie ends with him, tr- the, with him not facing felony charges. He's lost the job as the coach. <laughs> the, I don't know what the way back to is, other than like to jail. Yeah, the way like, back to what? He's going to he's going to trial. <laughs> He's out on bail, presumably, and he's facing, like, serious felony charges. That is fucking incredible. Because from that movie, they market it like a pure basketball movie. No. Like, it's, it's, I thought it was like White Coach Carter with drunk Ben Affleck. Dude, no. I mean, it really is like a fucking drunk person tried to make a sports movie. That's fucking awesome. Say, well, yeah, but they should call it I Can't Remember the Titans. That should be yeah. the <laughs> The way the way it just like and two like the sports elements of it, it really is like watching a fucking drunk person like stumble through sports cliches like they're doing the alphabet during a field that sobriety test. Rules, it's dude. they're just, I mean, like a, the, the, there's like this one scene with just this like, you know, just like pretty embarrassing level of exposition where Al Madrigal's like. You know, Ben Affleck says something to him. It's when they first introduce, the characters are introduced to each other. And Al Madrigal's like, uh, well, I guess you want to know who the team is. Kenny Dawes out on the wing. Bit of a showboat. But, uh, yeah, he's a solid shooter. Uh, and then they just go player oh, by no. player while they're playing. And they're like, that's Jesse. He's the hothead, wigger, you know, uh, <laughs> kind of a showboat or whatever. Playing besides him in the backcourt, that's Chubbs Hendricks. His, uh, his real name is Ronald. That's Chunks. Real name is Leonard, and you know, and it's like he's the fat one. You know, I mean, yep. yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's ba- it really feels like it's just they plugged into the script. Like, figure out a better way to do this, but this is basically what we're going to try and say about each of these people. Yeah, and then, but like they just put it all out there up front, so you, there's no time that you can't develop. You know, learn anything about these characters through the story. It's like, these are just, these are the tropes. Yeah, there's never a practice where any of this becomes obvious. No. They literally just they say just it. say it to you. <laughs> that rocks, dude. They just tell you who Every all movie is. should be like that in the beginning, just so we all know. Hands, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cards. What is it? Cards in the... Cards in the pocket. <laughs> Cards on... Fuck, hold on. Cards on the table. Po- pockets on the... Pockets on the barrel. <laughs> Put your pockets on the barrel. We're going to get it done. Yeah. Bar- barrel in. Barrel into the pockets on the cards, brother. Yeah. Get some cards in the pocket. Pocket in the cards. Yeah. I mean, but at the, the end of the movie, you you really are, like, left feeling like you're coming out of, like, a deep sleep still drunk. And you're like, who are those people? <laughs> Was I hanging out with a basketball team? <laughs> Did, <you> just- <laughs> Did I get fucked up with a junior college basketball team? Yeah, and in that regard, I mean, if you think about it that way, it's like if it was intentional and they were trying to go that route, then uh, 
then it's it's, it's a pretty good movie. Yeah, it's a pretty good movie. That's pretty cool nice. the way that they created that that feeling that you're just you know, thirty five an alcoholic losing control. Thirty five beers deep trying to tell people what happened in the sand lot. <laughs> You haven't made it explicitly clear. There, you know, the move, the one about football. Yeah. And there's a kid and a girl. You know, yeah. dog, you fucking asshole. Just doing that. Yeah. <laughs> but it was good, man. I really haven't watched any new movies in the last, like, four years. Dude, I just watched fucking oh, uh, everything's, Becky. Everything's Marvel movies now, and I have no interest, but I might have to watch them just because I forget that, like... The, most of the joy I had in movie watching, because I used to watch a shit ton of movies. Yeah. When I was fucking like 20 years old, I would download, I would watch absolutely every fucking movie. And you you forget that 90% of movies are f- awful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're fucking really bad. Brutal. Well, that's, dude, Becky, you got to watch Becky. Yeah. It's a movie where Kevin James plays a Nazi mm-hmm. and uh, he, he oh, takes yeah, a I fucking... I saw the trailer for that. Dude, it's incredible. I was calling it's it so good. Paul Blart Mein Kampf. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for a key. It has this symbol engraved on it. You seen it? No. Well, that leaves little Becky. Where's Becky? Wait, wait. <laughs> it's so good. He is completely not believable at mm-hmm. all. He's not menacing at all. He just looks mm-hmm. like a fat-ass goof. I know. He looks Even stupid. The- I saw the trailer where he's like, well, I guess we'll have to find... Becky, then. It's like, is this a comedy? Why don't you give us your number? My dog is a Rottweiler. Purebred. Or as the Germans call them, Rottweiler Metzgerhund. Dude. I mean, he's a comedian. It's, it's fucking... You know what it reminds me of? You remember that episode of the Bernie Mac show where he tries to transition to being a serious actor? I don't remember that one. Right, it's so funny, dude. He, I gotta watch that one. Yeah, he's like, he just tries to do a serious role, and he plays like a guy that's like recovering from like a stroke. And then yeah. he's, like, showing his family the movie. He's like, I made a movie. And then they put the movie on, and they're all just, like, laughing. Because they think he's, like, pretending to be retarded for the sake of yeah. the movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's him giving it his best shot. Yeah. Dude, it's so good. They should put it the, fu- why the fuck It makes is, no sense. Why is the Bernie Mac show not on streaming anymore? That's cr- You're right. HBO Max should have gobbled that up. That's, they have every, Everything else is loose ends. Bernie Mac show is incredible. That was one of the best sitcoms of all time. And it's weird because it's like, really I don't good. think I've mentioned it once the entire time we've done this show. We've talked about it. Yeah. I, it, not that much, but a little not bit. That I know much, we've but, talked about it because every time we talk about it, I think about how hot his wife was and how big her titties were. Yeah. I mean, that, that show was really that fucking good. That lady was so hot. I don't even remember the wife. 